Do you hold firm but compassionate boundaries to an alcoholic? An alcoholic is somebody who is physically or emotionally dependent and addicted to alcohol. A boundary is an energetic, a personal, or spiritual boundary you set with someone to maintain a relationship. We set boundaries with people because we want to keep them in our life. To set a boundary with love, you've got to trigger an emotional response from them first. Normally we set a boundary after they've done something that really needs our attention. Yelling, screaming, fighting, anger, violence. We have to remember that an alcoholic doesn't drink because they don't care. They drink because they do care a lot. And alcohol is the only way that they can manage the amount of care they have in their body. An alcoholic has a tendency to take everything personally and make everything about them. They do that with practice because everything gives them another reason to drink. Remember, alcohol is what helps them feel safe. So there's no using the word you because that is perceived as a personal attack which triggers more alcohol. When you shift that and talk about yourself, it helps them get more engaged and remove that pressure. I fear that if you continue drinking alcohol the way you do, I won't be able to spend as much time with you as I would really like to. I fear that if you continue drinking that much alcohol, that I can't give you my love. I fear that if you continue drinking alcohol the way you do, you won't be around long enough for me to love you the way you deserve. Each one of those phrases pulls the heartstring of any alcoholic. It's almost like a shortcut through the fire. It doesn't work every time, but there is a high success rate when you use those types of statements. We don't necessarily want to match energy, so if they're getting elevated, you're remaining calm. An alcoholic is looking for any reason to take another sip, and that includes your energy. Taking care of yourself, self-love, and self-care is a boundary. Showcasing what health and happiness looks like creates a subliminal boundary. They know that that's not them, and it implies a demanded respect. They feel it. They may not say anything, though. We don't want to continue pointing out everything that we don't like about them. We want to show compassion and let them know that what they're doing is great, and it'd be better if that way we could... I know it feels like a lot of work, and I know it feels completely pointless and you shouldn't have to do it. But they are not healthy. You are. Show them exactly how to treat you.